Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nana, and uh, today I'm back with another gameplay video where I decorate a house, make some sims. This case, it wasn't really making a sim, I just kind of transformed them, but that's kind of the drill for this um, unofficial series. So what I do in this series is I work on my own world, which sounds kind of dramatic because there's no way in heck that you can make your own world in this game, but the closest I can come is to actually, you know, put my own sims in there, change all the lots, etc, etc, and I'm apologize, I just got out of my bed, like, well, I woke up a while ago, um, but since I haven't eaten and um, I have a dust allergy, I kind of, like, you call that? My, my, my allergy goes to my throat in the morning unless I eat and drink something? <laughs> <laughs> Which is why I sound like rough as heck. But I'm um, I do the Flax family. Now you might be like, wow, that sounds familiar. You are correct. But you don't recognize any of these sims because Marcus Flax, the one who was in the game originally, died. And these are his children. Now there's kind of an interesting story that I would like to tell you. So, so if you want to hear what he went up to, you know, what he was up to in his younger years, uh, please stay tuned for that. But you may know Marcus from my um, Road to Fame, my Road to Fame Let's Play, and then it turned into the Seasons Let's Play, and he was um, our neighbor, and now in um, Get Famous, he is no longer our neighbor, but he's still in the world, so it's, you know, and the way that I like to play with my game, I don't, I think I've said this before, and if not, I said it in other videos, I like to play in one save, so I have one save, and currently I have then this making of my own world in there plus my actual let's play because I only have one let's play in The Sims 4 anyway. I do kind of have my own life as well that I want to incorporate but I try to keep that on a different save mainly because um, I think it's kind of awkward if I walk around as myself in my game in another let's play. I don't know, I feel like it's kind of weird. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, wow, okay. So as you see, I gave all the sims a complete makeover. I wanted them to look a little bit more like their dad and the parents. So that's the same thing, but the dad, Marcus, and his three, yes, three, f I don't know, he had three mamas. They had three baby mamas, okay? Uh, which is quite, um, he's been, we've been, he's been, uh, getting it on uh, in his career, in his long lifespan. Yeah, I wanted them to all have some ethnic hair because I feel like Marcus, Marcus not necessarily is super, um, yeah, he didn't really have curly hair or braids or dreadlocks or, um, I don't know the exact term, so excuse me, I'm as white as white can be, but he didn't have that ethnic, typical dark-skinned kind of hair. I think because the game didn't have it for one and for two, I just don't think it was him. So I thought it would be cool to incorporate that into their kids. So that's what I did. And as for the kids, there's a lot of different like children. You'll see them in a second, but I try to make all look different and kind of unique. And they all, I swear, all of them but one have the same aspiration as, um, as Marcus did, which is kind of cool. And the reason that I chose this family is because I just thought that it was just such an interesting story. The fact that two of these sims that I've been playing with the same time that, yeah, the same time I started this let's play two years ago, Marcus was alive and now he's dead and the other sims that I'm still playing with are still alive. I think that's kind of interesting that they're still part of this world even though I'm not done with this let's play. And in that way, I want to commemorate, commemorate? I have some, some memories of the sim and how aggressive and mean he was to us. Wow, he was the worst neighbor ever, regardless. <laughs> yeah, and for the house, once again, I also want to um, say this before I talk about the house. Um, every, even though I upload a video and I'm like, this is what the house looks like, right? This is what the house looks like, blah, 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 blah. These are not the vinyl versions. These are roughly a, like a draft almost of what I want to do because when you one when you guys uh, if I ever put this up for download, you know, or something like that, uh, or showed off whatever, I want you guys to be surprised, and I don't want to spoil completely what the houses look like. I know that partly 
they will not change very much. But like I said, these sims are all going to be lived in with their own backstory. So by the time you may actually get my video um, or my world, these sims could already have their own children or lives or they could be dead. You know, you never know. So I think that's the most fun part about the, how I do it. I think with the way I do it, everyone is just like lived in, you know? So it's not just a sim with no memories, no friendships and whatever. Everyone has some sort of backstory with someone and that's... That's what I think is the cool part about it, and I really like that. Um, so that's just what I want to say about the houses. Yeah, even though it doesn't necessarily look okay or finished or whatever, this is like a draft, so don't pay too much attention. Plus, I'm I'm shit at decorating. We all know this now. We all know this by now. Cass, however, I feel a little bit more confident in Cass. Um, but for the house, of course, back to the beige and brown theme. I really like these colors lately, so why not? I uh, especially am learning how to color coordinate. In the end, I um, did like three separate bedrooms and I think those turned out really nice. Um, and then those turned really out really nice. I really like the colors of brown and black and orange and beige, I think, and some white here and there. I really like that color combination, so I think I'll just kind of incorporate that throughout the entire apartment. And I try to give people cats. Especially since I'm in my Senmai Shuno right now, I feel like everyone that's in Senmai Shuno is either um, like really hardworking or well, not necessarily hard. Oh well, that's kind of beyond the point. Let's just, it's just an idea I had in my mind for everyone to be really hardworking and like barely at home. I feel like people in apartments don't necessarily they do not necessarily have to be away from house, but I feel like. Especially for the smaller apartments, it's just easier if you're never home. I was gonna say, now that's that's, that's what happens, right? You always forget what you want to say. So I'll tell you about the history because there's there is so much history, you don't even believe it. Like, this family has gone insane. Like, they've been really, really, really insane. We all are Marcus, and Marcus did not have a partner at any given time. Uh, when you start the game, at least he doesn't. Unless I made him divorce someone, but I don't think I actually do that kind of thing because... When I played my Let's Plays, I didn't really pay much attention to other sims yet, so whatever happened was completely optional and random, so that's that's also a benefit, I guess, from playing the game. Wow, I was just checking if my cable was in. Imagine if I just talked and the cable wasn't even in. I also have to be somewhere today. I'm gonna go to my dad. Uh, and I want to get this video out. I'm recording this voiceover in the morning, so I don't have to do it at night. Uh, wow, information. Oh, I just have, to, I have just so much I want to talk about, like always, like all given time, but I probably shouldn't, unless I have to fill up some time. So, uh, okay, so Marcus, okay, Marcus, he had six children, no, five, five, he has five children. So he has Chelsea, Damien, Sally, Krista, and Brian. Now... Krista and Brian are twins, Sally is not, and then Damien and Chelsea are twins. So, imagine, okay, so the oldest one is Sally, you'll see Sally somewhere down in the video. Sally is the oldest one, and she is the only, wait, wow, she is the daughter of Anna Munch. And she has a brother called Cornelius. Now, Cornelius is from Wolfgang Munch and Anna. And uh, now, uh, Wolfgang is married um, to Anaya, which I don't think Anaya has. Anaya doesn't really have any family, but. Okay, so, you still following me? Okay, hopefully, we're still. How do I get back? Wow, okay. <laughs> Alright, so follow me again. Marcus Flex has a daughter with Anna Munch. And her name was Sally. And she has a half-brother, Cornelius, who is whose mom is her mother, but has a different dad. She's the oldest of the bunch, okay? Then we have Chelsea and Damien, who are the second oldest of the bunch. They don't have uh, a mother, apparently. They don't have any mother. Uh, mother is unknown. And her name, um, uh, and she and Damon are both from Marcus and that unnamed woman. Then the other two, the, the, the other twins, Krista and Brian, are also from an unknown 
like source. So they're all kind of half siblings, I guess. Um, but I have a feeling that the game just messed up because at one point, Marcus was married to Anaya, I think her name was. Yeah, Anaya. But her name wasn't Anaya Munch, it was Anaya Flex. So I have a feeling that either the game messed up and that these kids are actually from Anaya, but nobody knows. Maybe she never took, you know, upon herself to admit that these kids were hers. But she was there. She got married to him and they kind of died similar. Um, they died like a few days, a few hours after each other. Um, on both of old age, so we don't really know who, whose kids her who, but we all all we know is that she was his latest spouse, and four children are missing a mother. So it could very well be that she is the mother. We don't know. They have unknown mothers, but they're all kind of like half half siblings, which I guess is kind of interesting, right? I mean, who, who kind of expects that? Which I thought is why it makes such an interesting story because four of these kids are like really like Marcus and then one of them looks more like the mother, um, Anna. So I think that's, uh, I think Anna, I think Anna is still alive as well. Anyway, that's kind of the backstory for these sims, not much of a backstory, but that's what they, you know, that's what they've been up to. That's what Mars has been up to. He's been donating his kids. <laughs> He's having fun. Let's say that for sure. Um, so yeah, I think this video has been long enough. I'm going to cut it. But um, yeah, I have to get ready now. So hopefully that was enough shit talk. I want to thank you guys so much for watching my videos like always. And uh, let me know what's your theory behind the missing mother and Anaya. Hmm? Anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye!